Welcome back. You got Will and I, man, here from the Block Runner Metazone, Roby and Mscribe, and today we got a bitmap takeover update. Hooray! All right, we got another one of these. That time of week, dude. Since we're uh, so allegedly have have been so quiet about bitmaps these days. Oh yeah, we don't talk about bitmaps anymore, dude. Not at all, because <laughs> we're completely fading the bitmap ecosystem at yeah. all. At all costs. Yeah, we've done nothing for bitmap this whole time. Yeah. So if you can't tell, that's that's a demonstration of sarcasm. <laughs> We, we do need to clarify that sometimes yeah especially some, for me right it's not everybody has like that sarcasm radar <laughs> so it needs to be yeah disclosed so yeah you know what um you know a lot of people we do these videos like as if people have been watching all our videos consecutively that too and so if you don't know what bitmap is it's it's very simple it's do you feel like you need to do this every time i think yeah, I think like we a little have one to. minute like elevator pitch. Yeah, I think we have to. All right, good, good, good luck, dude. <laughs> Go for it. All right, so if you don't know what bitmap is, it's relatively simple. It is a text inscription into Bitcoin. If you don't know any of those words I just said, you're going to have to do some research. Yeah. Right? So it's a text inscription onto Bitcoin, and it is block height dot bitmap. Mm -hmm. And so if you own that block number dot bitmap, you own a piece of the metaverse on Bitcoin. Correct. And there are... There's 824,000 blocks on Bitcoin. Therefore, there's 824,000 districts in this metaverse on Bitcoin. According to Bitmap Theory, which was yeah. published by Batoshi Blockmoto yeah. in June of 2023, roughly six months ago or so. That's right. So it's been one hell of an experiment ever since then. It's manifested into literally the biggest metaverse in all of Web3 by holder counts yeah. and market cap. Yeah. <laughs> so it's one hell of a successful uh metaverse story up until this point and uh yeah it's still an early beginning days so that's why we do weekly coverage of it and, and you know the expansion of this ecosystem what's actually happening yeah and now it has roughly thirty two thousand holders that's like saying that's a lot that's like saying i man my elephant weighs ten thousand pounds okay it's like okay so is, is that big <laughs> is that small it's mm. like well on average an elephant weighs about two to four thousand pounds it's a big elephant then yeah that's it's a, a big ass elephant it's a chonker so so what does thirty two thousand mean right let's go to bitmap let's go to uh coin gecko let's take the nfts of all of the nfts all the owners mm. thirty two thousand is by far the most mm. held nft asset the only ones like with the larger holder count are the like the name ENS domains. ENS domains, probably um dot sats, yeah. things like this. You know, so but largely so th those questions have been asked like in Twitter spaces, like, oh, you know, what about dot sats? Why can't you just build a Yeah, correct. Like a metaverse. You know, if you own a dot sats, you own like a, a district or whatever. Yeah. yeah. I mean you could, you could. do it yeah. dot sats or dot anything. You could right. do that. But if so, if a developer spends time doing that, nobody's going to care because that's not the reason why people inscribe dot sats. Yeah. It's really about that. It's the, the alignment, I guess, mechanism that bitmap is mm -hmm. it, as far as like, it's, it's a clear direction as far as like where the ecosystem is headed. What is the, what is the purpose of like this asset specifically like a dot sat? It can be associated with so many different things like identity and yeah. such. Yeah. But this is specifically a, a metaverse component, yeah. right? A standard for the metaverse. Therefore, it has attracted a lot of developers who are interested in this ecosystem. That's right. So why would you choose to kind of like take the gamble or the risk to, to develop anywhere else? Because development is expensive. That's and right. It takes a lot of time and commitment. And in most developers' case, you know, they're expecting some sort of ROI down the line, right? So I'm going to align my, my efforts in the ecosystem that makes the most sense, that is presenting the most opportunity to me, mm -hmm. right? And that so far is Bitmap, right? Yeah. All right, so let's take a look at the price. Uh, I don't. I'm not that interested in the price all that much, just because I'm more interested in like the creators uh, yeah. leveraging it. But a lot a, of you guys care, and for obvious reasons. Yeah, you know, price matters. So as you can see, we uh, did a run here, and then it, it sort of uh, took a dumping. Yeah. Um, and this is thank you to Trevor for actually <laughs> positively talking about bitmap. Is for that literally somebody one day is gonna like do that little pointer? Oh it's yeah, like Trevor. Trevor likes became bitmap. bullish, yeah. and then all of a sudden, it's like, all right, let's sell the top, guys. Yeah. So thank you to <laughs> Trevor for giving everybody a discount to getting onboarded to Bitmap. Okay, so I wonder what the bottom signal will be. Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess once Bitmap starts to get a lot of phase, like, see, we told you Bitmap was like a fad. Yeah. Once you start seeing that sentiment, like pretty prevalent, then you know, 
you better be like scooping. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right, moving on. Inscribed.space. Founders Pass collection has sold out. Your incredible support means the world to us. Yeah, shout out Inscribed.space. I mean, literally from the rip, from the beginning, this team has been cranking away. Yeah. And they have a very specific ethos that they're kind of like addressing. It's like the full on chain version of what the metaverse could be. Mm -hmm. Right. That's what this is. So the Founders Pass, I think there were 700 roughly mints of that, and that sold out pretty quickly. That's good. That's a, a representation. If you're a developer in this space and you're creating value, the market yeah, well, will reward that with that's right. by, by participating in, you know, there's your ROI. He spent all this time, these months, developing an actual technology stack, Yep. you know, different innovations to, to make content on chain and functional and all this stuff. And yeah. It's, it's happening, dude, before our eyes. Yeah, so Founders Pass Builders Discount Utility is now live. Get a whopping 90% off developer fees, saving you a lot of Bitcoin on every inscribed space. Yeah, definitely recommend just exploring all these already created scenes. They're pretty cool. We did that the other day. Yeah. It's pretty fun, pretty trippy. It is. It's it really is trippy. Yeah, it's crazy. You could just like hop in like a little web widget, a yeah. little web display, and like you're literally running around like this whole virtual environment. Yeah, it is trippy. Cool. All right, so more news. We got the 3D BRC420 avatars are now officially embraced by creators. These avatars will be approved and playable in Bitmap land with potential expansions to other metaverses. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure. I mean, look, look, look at this. This is probably applicable in most. And, and every single metaverse. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> right? So that's that's cool. And that's what's good about this. So Yeah. Obviously, the uh, avatar market is kind of like taken off because of BRC 420s and such. People want to find their identity mm -hmm. in this metaverse, right? That is going to be like one of the more critical facets to the digital economy, right? Yeah. All right. A bitmap parcel sold for 0.035 Bitcoin. A <laughs> parcel. How do you feel about that, dude? When's the last time we talked about parcels? It was like the day, <laughs> day one of bitmap, dude. Yeah, it's been like several months since like parcels were even part of the, it got so bad to where like the community was voting on whether or not we should yeah get rid of parcels completely from like the bitmap theory. Yeah, what a what a waste of time that was. Then yeah, I mean, I think the community was literally split. Yeah, you know, because bec the really it's it's the the people who think bitmap is like a like a like a f money token. <laughs> I guess it's a st it's the new bitcoin. Yeah, it's a right. store of value, and that's it. It's we like, yeah. but if we if we divide these into parcels, all of a sudden the ex the supply is like infinite. Right. It's like that's not what's happening. Yeah, the narrative got taken over by degenomics for for a minute, and like the the scope traversed away from the initial theory set for, set forth by Batoshi. Right. Like this is a metaverse primitive. Yeah. Therefore, you know, we don't want to limit ourselves as far as like onboarding mechanism, ecosystem expansion, all these things that Bitmap is like so original at. Yeah. Right. The fact that it's a ever expanding ecosystem because every new ten minutes there's a new block. Mm -hmm. Therefore, there's a new district and new parcels that can be distributed. That's right. That's never happened before. Correct. And it's all non-arbitrary. It's never happened. You're preaching, dude. <laughs> Preach. Yeah, but fuck that, dude. Let's get rid of them all. <laughs> <laughs> I want I want number go up only, yeah. you know? So it's weird, but this is crypto, right? This is crypto yeah. economics. You got to deal with it. It just is what it is. All right. So then you're saying 0 0.035 Bitcoin. What is going on here? So yeah. it looks like one of these parcels is from the Bitmap community. Another OG. Yeah. Um, yeah, here we go. Here's never understood parceling. Yeah. Yeah, so... I mean, it's, yeah, there's a lot of that going around where it's like, yeah, because I don't get it, it must be like stupid, stupid and terrible and a waste of time and money. So I'm going to let everyone know like this is stupid and a waste of time and money. Don't, right. don't do this. Yeah. Don't do research. Yeah. Don't do any reading. Yeah. Don't even, don't listen to any podcasts or any influencers. Just don't do any of that. It's stupid. Yeah. Like this is a PSA. If you're, if you're on Twitter and you're seeing these types of messages, like C quickly ignore like they, well, well, they know no, no, nothing. No, no, no. Like that, that's your signal to like investigate more. There you go. Yeah. Right. Because the ones that, that put in that due diligence, typically those are the ones that they end up getting it. Yeah. It's funny. Like you could see the difference, the, the response of like qu the quality of responses of futters yeah. versus the quality of responses of people who mm, understand. That's true. Right. The futters say that's stupid. 
Yeah. Right. But the people who understand, it's like, man, this is like going to open up and align all the developers yeah. to build on top of this metaverse. And correct. Like it's more. Here's my chain depth. of reasoning. Yeah. That's the two that has led to my, my thesis, my yeah. conclusion. And therefore, you know, that's it. Yeah. So like, yeah, you're right. There is a definitely a quality discrepancy in like a, a thought. And yeah, you don't want to be in the in the wrong bucket in those types of scenarios. Trust me, you want to put in the research and the effort to yeah. to find like the, what is where's the real value lie, right? To position yourself, it's really that simple. Yeah, uh, successful implementation of bitmap parcels with uh, the bitmap community genesis parcels listed on um, Magic Eden. So, so I mean, something's definitely cooking and brewing here. We've been waiting to see this happen for a long time. Yeah, I mean, dude, we called it early. There's going to be a land distribution event. Correct. Right? It's just right now, it's incredibly complex. So let me explain it to you, I man. Okay. Because this is this is something that's going to get this happening. Mm -hmm. It's very complicated to do, and it's gonna there's going to be a fix for this, right? So here, let me tee up the problem for you. All right. Hopefully, I don't miss <laughs> the tee. Go for it. All right. So... To parcel out your district, right? Let's assume you have 3,500 transactions, 3,500 parcels. Mm -hmm. To do what Bitmap is, uh, Bitmap Community is doing, you would have to inscribe them all to yourself, mm. right? So that's 3,500 transactions, and you're sending them all to yourself. On average, transactions are about three to five dollars. Mm. So you're looking at anywhere between roughly 15 grand, wow, just to inscribe all the parcels to yourself. Mm. And then you're not even done. These are not even valid parcels yet. Mm. What you have to do is you'd have to tap the bitmap, uh, the original bitmap like asset. So what is that? What is tapping? Yeah. You literally have to send the bitmap to yourself. Every time? No, just, just once. You, you inscribe the 3,500. 3, okay. And then you just send it out to, to yourself once. Okay. Yeah. And then you've, you've validated all those. So why gotcha. do you have to do that? Yeah. Why? Well, because if you don't do that, then... There, there's no proof on chain that you originally owned the bitmap when you inscribe the parcels. Because mm. at the same time that you're inscribing, you have the bitmap listed on Magic Eden. Mm. And so you've inscribed the parcels, somebody purchased your bitmap, now you just screwed that guy that purchased bitmap and there's no parcels in it. Mm. Interesting. And so the way to prevent that is you have to send the bitmap to yourself, mm -hmm. meaning you can't list it. Yeah. And then, then you've cleared the parcels, and now you can list with any anything that you want. Okay. So is that what he did here? You think, or well, he has to do? That's the only way to do that. that so there is an active like whitelist and a distribution in the future uh, that's going to occur. So, is there a mechanism improvement to this? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Well, we'll yeah. get into that to that, and so I guess maybe a future video. Yeah. Right. Because man, we're we're cutting it close on time here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These are some very critical subjects for sure. But it's just, as of right now, like, it's good to see, like, members of the community, like, showcasing, representing what Bitmap is about, right? Like, yeah. you're creating ecosystem value on your own, right? So whatever the merits of that is, whether it's just a game you're developing, mm -hmm. a platform you're building, whatever the brand or IP that represents, Bitmap is, like, the perfect community onboarding mechanism 100%. to you distribute the parcels of, of what that district represents. That's you. That's Bitmap community, right? Yeah. And people are quickly seeing value in that and they want to be participants in this ecosystem. Yeah. Right. Just like a PFP collection or any other kind of like non fungible token. Yeah. It has that same utility and purpose as a community onboarding mechanism. What's better than like the metaverse parcelization of that? Yeah. Right. Like it's, you're actually tangibly present with one another. That's right. Depending on what kind of virtual environment stack and such, such, such. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I totally agree. So this is good. We're seeing uh, the experiment actually. It's manifest. It's working. It's working. Yeah. Right. And, and, okay. So let me give you another angle to kind of this is stupid tweet. Right. Mm -hmm. So now we have this uh, this transaction that occurred 0.035 Bitcoin, and then we have people automatically saying, "Oh, this is just wash trading. This oh, is yeah, this yeah, yeah. nothing's happening here. It's just a wash trade." Yeah. Right. And so this is another signal for you to investigate. There must be something happening here. Yeah. Assume that. And then once you figure out and you do your investigation, you figure out it's basically wash training because there's actually nothing happening, then, okay, it's wash training. Correct. But don't read this and be like, okay, it's wash training. I'm going to move on. Nothing's happening here. Yeah. So then into the madness, he tweets, definitely something special about bitmap community, the block runner, inscribe that space, to start, starting to decide and distribute parcels. Some parcels lost or some parcel lots will go for way higher than complete districts. It all depends upon what, 
they are connected to. Thousand percent. And that's the point, right? It's and yeah. that's why somebody bought it for 0.035 Bitcoin because it's Bitcoin one community. parcel. So like collectively, let's I think say there's like a hundred parcels or a thousand or whatever. Yeah, the collective value yeah. of all that is so much higher than just the district. That's right. Right? It's so crazy. The, isn't the market cap of this bitmap now like three and a half Bitcoin if there was a hundred parcels just to make it the math easy? Something like that, yeah. That's a big deal. That is a big deal. So that that is an undiscovered like utility to bitmap and that's you know, that's and, a roughly hundred and twenty thousand dollar bitmap. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. F- far exceeding the value of any bitmap that is sold, even like the sub one hundred bitmaps. Yeah. Good why? Because this is real value. Yes. This is the point. This is bitmap represents real value, not degenomics value. Yes. You can create real value here. See, that's what's so crazy. The G- degenomics actually depress the value of bitmap. Correct. Yeah. So big shout out bitmap community for yeah. kind of like getting the ball rolling and th- the, uh, the uh, awareness. Like people, you know, fucking you got to get people's gaze on the right picture, right? This is, yeah. this is the big picture here happening in real time. Yeah, yeah, so Ordinal Land, uh, talking about uh, to the bitmap and NAT community, what are your thoughts about okay. launching a non-arbitrary token yeah. that points to the transaction count mm. where if you own that block of, of bitmap, you own that, that transaction count of tokens. Mm-hmm. So like if you have a bitmap that has 3,500 transactions, you inscribe that token, which he just launched recently called BTT. Mm-hmm. But remember... This is a block drop token, so you yeah. need to have the bitmap to inscribe this token. So in case in case you didn't know, we completely like switched topics here. Oh yeah, we did. <laughs> we're no longer talking about parcels. Now we're talking about non-arbitrary tokens and um, you know, f- the whole fungible token space yeah, if you don't on know, top of bitmap, right? If you don't know what non-arbitrary tokens are, definitely search for that in our in our YouTube channel. Yeah, so a lot has been happening on that front in it's uh it's happening. We're gonna continue to talk about it, but the bitmap community, this is another thing like where awareness is shifting. Mm-hmm. Right? We have the awareness of like there, there's a lot of value in parcelization, right? Now it's like there's a lot of value in deriving non arbitrary value yes. from from bitmaps, right? Yep. And let's leverage the data exactly what Batoshi did to give us the architecture framework for actual digital materialization of the virtual environment. Mm-hmm. That's what bitmaps do. Mm-hmm. So it's like, how do we derive new tokens, which can uh, lead to actual digital commoditization within these virtual environments, right? Yeah. So that's what we're talking about now. All right. Thank you for that transition, like, dude. Yeah. <laughs> we got to remember, we got to like shift into these, dude. Hey, these man. are some deep topics. Well, um, so speaking about deep. <laughs> yeah. So uh, long story short, a new block drop token has been deployed. And if you own Bitmap, you own that transaction account amount of that block drop token called BTT. BTT. Okay. Yeah. So is this so this is a official this is indexed? It's not indexed yet okay. because this is not this is a different field, right? This is a different element. Correct. Right? So right now the only only non-arbitrary tokens being indexed is field 11, the bits field. The bits field. Yeah. And pretty soon all the elements, all the fields are going to be indexed. Mm. Um so it's it's really up to track to kind of like push these things out, but Okay. Uh, but yeah, this, this eventually will be indexed. Once it's indexed, you'll see it on your bitmap and then you can decide it's like, yeah, I want this token or I do not want this token. And then, and then this is like, a part of the parent child, child provenance method right. of, uh, of ex- ex- excavating, extracting non-arbitrary tokens from the bitmaps that you own, right? Which there Correct. is one, there's already a showcase commodity in existence with the BMT token. That's one of the. We launched that alongside not, uh, NAT token mm-hmm. again to to demonstrate these two different you know distribution mechanisms. There's the fair distribution, which is what NAT was. You don't need like an any on chain provenance component yeah. to to uh, participate in that. And then there's this other method which relies on the provenance of ownership. Which if you own a bitmap, only you can claim mm-hmm. these non arbitrary tokens, mm-hmm. right? So it's out there. It's mintable. A lot of people are asking, how do we do it? Yeah. It is very difficult at the moment because parent-child is like a brand new thing. Yeah. And you got to be- not heavily supported. Yeah. You got to be very careful too because, yeah. yeah. But- uh, But all that's coming, right? Infrastructure is coming. So, I man, what is the ecosystem of tokens on Bitmap, you ask? 
right? So we have a quick guide that covers all the bitmap and DMT related tokens released thus far. Mm. So let's run this through, right? We got the tickers here. We got the protocols. We got the supplies. Yeah. Uh, whether it's arbitrary or non-arbitrary. <laughs> it's interesting to see. That's a new that's consideration. A right. That's well. That's oh, that's that's good to see. Yeah, <laughs> feels like we we did something right. Yeah, that's never been like part of the conversation when you're analyzing like token. Yeah, token never. Economics. Never. It's like, is it arbitrary or not? <laughs> like, since when does that become a thing? Yeah, yeah, that's because all the tokens have been arbitrary. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. All right. So now we got NAT. We got BMP. We have the BMT token, BMAP, and then Bitmap. All right. So we got. Tap protocols, we have BRC20s, we have the max circulating supplies. Really, the supply doesn't matter. It's just, yeah, it's just the market cap really is what you consider. Because whether it's one token or trillions of tokens, it all matters. The, the market cap is what matters. It depends. I mean, in some scenarios, and it gets the yeah, it depends could on like the, matter. the use case. If you have one token, it's going to be difficult to kind of distribute Correct. that to a community, right? Yeah, if you have some sort of utility case where it's like like a gas mechanism yeah. or whatever functions for some network or something, you know, a much bigger supply would, would serve better. Yeah, correct, right? correct. Yeah. So th there is utility here in like the circulating supply, but I mean, mm -hmm. with all things considered, it's it's everything's all equal basically. Yeah. So max total supply. All right. So we have NET. Obviously, we have two non-arbitrary tokens. Mm -hmm. And then we have three arbitrary tokens. Mm. And um, so we have NAT, the first fungible non-arbitrary token, BMT, non-arbitrary token exclusively for bitmap holders, and then yeah. BMP, first token available exclusively for bitmap holders. Mm. Um, and so they're all here. Yeah, they're all here. And one that's missing is WMAP, which is uh, recursive IOs, because it's not live yet, right? Yeah. I think they're still working with Unisat to... Get some kind of like custom module deployed that's going to support like li I think the locking of bitmaps in order to like mint and distribute those. So yeah, it's a whole new thing. It's a whole new consideration. That's true. Eventually, it's going to get added into this list, along with all the other um, eventual uh, NATs. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure you guys, once you understand the the technology and again the infrastructure is in place, yeah, I'm expecting quite the contribution to this list from uh, the community. Yeah, 100%. That's what I'm assuming, right? Yeah, I, I sort of glossed over this column here, max total supply. If you notice here, these non-arbitrary tokens have a quote-unquote infinite supply, mm -hmm. right? Because every 10 minutes, there's a new set of BMTs and NATs that can be inscribed. Correct. Right? And so if you play this out to infinity, then yeah, you have an infinite supply. Yeah, um, and that's only because of the field that those two tokens are referencing the element. Which, right? yeah, which you, makes you, it non-arbitrary. Yeah, there are non-arbitrary tokens out there with fixed supplies, you know, depending on th that element, so. Yeah, and uh, so it's like, well, infinite supply, that's a shit token, right? <laughs> I was like, well, I mean, or TJ, can you tell me the market cap of Ethereum? Not right now. <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't have it like screen saved, dude. You know? <laughs> I thought you look at it at every like day. Daily? Dude. It's like a daily exercise. It's like nothing's changed. <laughs> I think it's like 300 billion ish. Yeah. yeah, just shy. Okay. TJ, can you tell me if Ethereum <laughs> inflates or not? Depends on the day. <laughs> That's right. It, inf it inflates. It inflates and deflates, right? Because of, depending on the how, how do you how issue how do you issue shit? Ethereum tokens to stakers? I get it. I right? get it. <laughs> All right, inflationary tokens have a value. Is yeah. my point. Okay. Okay. Now All moving right. on. All right, we're running out of time, dude. Yeah. I think we already did run out of time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're skipping this. This is just a video of us. We don't yeah. need to see that. Yeah. <laughs> tap tokens. All right, tap tokens. Uh, okay, so we got the ranking here of market caps and DMT NET at the top here, and just added. Yeah, so again, these digital commodities that are um, non-arbitrary, they're going to be TAP tokens because yeah. you know that that is the uh, token protocol that supports these new functionalities of, of expansionary supply, deflationary supply. These things can only occur on TAP. So expand, expect this list to grow <laughs> as the digital economy on top of Bitmap grows. Agreed. That's about it. And then it'll... Oh. Foxyverse. Finally. Yeah. We get to talk to Foxyverse again. Yeah, it's been a while, dude. In a couple of days. Yeah, we're going to have an interview with Foxy. Should probably get published by next week. 
yeah. sometime. Not this weekend, but next weekend. Yeah, so we're gonna and get some good updates on what's going on. Yeah, he's got he's got some big updates. So I'm I'm, I'm happy to talk to this guy. He's he's one of the OG builders. Yeah, again, Bitmap. OG builders, and again, market rewarded. They have sold out their OG passes. That's right. This is what happens when you build yeah, in the right ecosystem, right? The create market, value. Create value in the market. will return it right back to you, dude. Yeah. That's how it goes. All right, guys. I appreciate you guys for watching. Let us know if we miss anything in the bitmap takeover. Yeah. Are you still bullish? Are you bearish? Let us know. Yeah. Appreciate you guys for watching, and we will catch you in the next video. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>